What are we doing? Picking up some cattle panels. <laughs> I'm Jen. I'm Chris. And we live here at the Sunshine Farm. Today we're going to talk to you about how to take home cattle panels in a pickup truck the easy way. Dream is here. Part of the dream. I don't know, I feel like this is something you've been excited about. It's getting some trellises for arches. Yeah, I know. I was excited that we could do it today. For arch trellises. They're gonna go in here. I know many of us gardeners quickly fell in love with the idea of having cattle panel arch trellises when we saw Roots and Refuge share her beautiful garden with us last year. So I knew that I wanted to add this to my garden and I was really, really excited when we knew that Chris's parents were going to be coming over with their truck and it was a good opportunity for us to borrow the truck to be able to pick up some cattle panels. But I quickly was overwhelmed with the concept of how are we going to be able to get 16 foot cattle panels in a six foot truck bed. Here's what we did and I hope it's helpful to you. Guys, this is an age old question that has mystified many over the years. <laughs> how in the world do you take home 16 foot cattle panels in any kind of vehicle yeah. without a ginormously long trailer? Yeah, that's the first assumption is that you need a trailer. So your typical pickup bed is six, feet, maybe eight feet long at most, and that doesn't stand a chance. No. But a little bit of Googling. A little and Googling. You can quickly find a way to do it. And it's not actually that hard at all. No. But there are a couple tips that are really important to follow, and there's one really important safety tip that I want to recommend for you guys. So be sure to stay till the end so you can hear about that one. Let's just start the basics. How do you put it in a truck? Okay, so the key concept is that Cattle panels are pretty flexible, so luckily you can fold them to get them in the back of a truck. And there's a couple ways that you can tackle that from what I've seen online. Picture the arch trellis in the garden, the end result that you are hoping to get. Essentially, you have your arch, right? You're basically just going to be putting that in the truck flat. On its side. On its side. So essentially the arch of the cattle panel, once it's squished, once it's folded, once it's Bent? How do you describe it? Once it's flexed? I don't know. Once you flex it like an arch, you kind of just push it in the back of the truck with the arch facing So how you're gonna do it, you're truck. gonna have one person on each end of the cattle panel. And the cattle panel is gonna be laying flat on the ground when you get it. You're gonna have you're gonna pick it up, put it vertical with one person on each end, and then the two of you are gonna walk towards each other on each side in order to push the cattle panel together. You're each gonna take your end and you're gonna slide it into one side of the pickup truck. And it's just gonna slip right in there like a glove. Yeah. And you could use even like four people can be really helpful because what happens as you try to push it in the back of the truck is the area where the back wheels are, where there's like a little the bit of an indent into wheel the wheel hub, an indent into the back of the truck. You're gonna have to kind of finagle with it a little bit, push it in on both sides so that it fits around the wheel hub. That way you can fit it in as far as you possibly can and it's gonna be more secure. So if you have one person on each side on top of the two people that are bending it, they can be pushing it in towards each other while the two people at the back are putting it into the truck. We did use four people and it was really helpful. I think you would definitely do it with two. It just might take a little bit longer and a little bit more manpower to try to really or push them in. Or woman power. Yeah, man, woman power. <laughs> you know, just some strength, really. Yeah. So how many can you get in the back of a truck? How many do you think? I would say that six is a for sure. You could probably put press your luck and go for seven or eight. Um, it just gets a little bit more dicey because as you compress each of those panels more and more by shoving more in there, you're gonna increase the, the spring force uh, that's pushing back against the edge of the truck and it's just gonna increase the chance that something could go wrong, that some one of them could pop out and cause a catastrophe. So while you're trying to put them in, once you have them, once you have them strapped, it's not yeah. as much of a problem. But. By number six, I was like, oh gosh, are we gonna be able to fit them all? So I would really say six is like a good number to go by. 
if you're an overachiever, go for seven, then you can post a video about it and talk about that. But we liked six. Six was a good number for trying to get the cattle panels in. So once you get them into the truck, then you're going to want to use some straps to make sure they're really secure because as you're driving, you know, going over bumps and making turns and all of that, the tension in the back could snap and they could all come out. Yeah, they could all pop out. They could all just pop out one by one. So it's pretty easy to strap them down using straightforward ratchet straps. You only really need two ratchet straps for this to make it effective. You can use three just to be safe with the third one going around the end of the arch, but all you really need are two running in either an X or a straight across pattern through the actual mesh of the trellis. Yeah. If you want to be really cool and make it extra challenging, throw in an apple tree in the back of the truck with your arch trellises and try to figure out how you can secure the apple tree to the arch trellises and to the straps. Also, climb into the back of the truck as the cattle panels are getting loaded and then try to get out afterwards <laughs> once the ratchet straps are running across the back of the truck. You've been caged. I know. Right trellis. I'm not going to tighten them down. Okay. Let me grab uh, one more strap and we'll strap down your tree. It's not going anywhere. I think so. You just to get out of there, Christopher. Ninja moves. So once you get home, there's just one more tip to follow before taking them out of the truck because there's so much tension and they're pretty heavy as a whole and it's really hard to get one out at a time. There's one pretty easy way you can make your life safer and easier. So once you get home and you try to pull one out, they get caught on each other really easily. And as we started to slowly, gradually, the four of us pull the panels back out of the truck, I started to get nervous that if we got to a certain point and people weren't really adequately prepared, we didn't really know how much force we were gonna be dealing with once we didn't have the truck bed to help us out anymore. And I didn't want them to just explode on us and everybody get whacked in the face and yeah. like cuts you and You could get really and... injured because they're really strong and there's so much tension. Yeah. And while they are flexible, they don't stay it's, in the arch position. They, one, they flex right back out. It's one thing with two people trying to force one together at one point, but I, we hadn't actually held all six together at one yeah. point. I wasn't sure how strong the force would be once we got them out. So what you're going to want to do is really simply take one of those straps that you just used to get them home and you're just going to strap the two ends, the two ends together really tight. And then you can just take them all out. And once they're on the ground, you can just remove the strap. Yeah, you just slowly release them once they're on the ground and then we let them harmlessly flop to the ground and yeah. no one was in danger's way. And nobody wants a negative experience with these trellises because they're gonna be beautiful in your garden. You don't wanna see it and be like, oh, that was a thing that scratched me all over my face that one time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Of the dream. I don't know, I feel like this is something you've been excited about, is getting some trellises for arches. Yeah, I know. I was excited that we could do it today. For arch trellises. They're gonna go in here. Now you know, you don't need, you don't, you don't need a trailer, but you are going to want to get a pickup truck. <laughs> yeah, unless you're really adventurous and you're willing to push the boundaries of wise decision making and the law. I don't know if there's any laws that are really against it, but you can try strapping them to the top of a vehicle. Oh my gosh. It doesn't look that great, doesn't look that secure, but... This guy is way too much of a rule follower to take that approach. People who have pickup trucks are very used to being asked to borrow their pickup truck. So if you don't have a family member who has a pickup truck, if you, if you yourself don't have a pickup truck, see if there's you know a neighbor, someone on a Facebook group that you know or can connect with, somebody local that is willing to help you out. Last case scenario, you can rent them as well. Yeah, you could rent them. I think they're like $20 for the rental and then they probably charge per mile for a certain rate, but typically it's yeah. like $20. Which is much easier than renting a truck and a trailer or trying to find a 16 foot trailer, which there aren't a lot of them. Not for rentals, no. No. So, okay. Good luck with your trellising. 
be safe and have fun. Yeah. Thanks for spending time with us today. I hope you found this information helpful. If you did, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can watch our cattle panels become garden features. Yeah. Yeah. If you have a cattle panel experience trying to get one home, please leave it in the comments below. And keep an eye out for our future videos where you'll actually get to see these installed as arch trellises in our new garden. Yes. We can't wait to share our next video with you guys. See you later. See you guys. Thank you.